In this video we're going to multiply radicals with different indices. And what I mean by different indices is that the index in each is not the same. Now, in order to multiply what's inside, we actually have to have them the same. And so there are a couple of ways that you can do this. You can go ahead and rewrite the radicals in exponential format. And so if we distribute that, it would look like this. 16 to the 1 half. And this would be x to the 3 halves, the power over the root. Remember, the root on the first one is 2. And then you'd have y to the 1 half. Then we'd multiply and we would multiply in 4 to the 1 third. And this would be x to the power is 4 over the root is 3. And then for y it would also be 4 over 3. And then if you do this, you add the fractions, and so you would add them in chunks. You would actually take the numbers first, and so you'd say this is really 16 to the 1 half times 4 to the 1 third and they don't have the same base so you really can't do those however if you if you notice this this is really 4 to the first times 4 to the 1 third which gives you 4 to the 3 thirds plus 1 third which is 4 to the 4 thirds okay so that is another way of doing it and you'll notice I got the common denominator now, in this case, the common denominator was 3 after I took the square root. If you notice up at the top, though, you won't have that. You have a 2 here and a 3 here, which is going to give you a 6. So the common denominator is going to be 6 in that case. So if I were to write this out, this would be 16 and 3 6 uh, x, and instead of 3 halves, it would be uh, multiplied by 3 on top and bottom. This would be 9 sixths, and then y to the 3 sixths times. 4 to the 2 sixths. Uh, this would be x to the 8 sixths, 6, and then y to the 8 sixths. And you could do it this way and then add the fractions. So you'd end up with, well, in, in the case of 16, you'd have to reduce it again. Uh, and you'd have 4 to the uh, 6 sixths, and then times 4 to the 2 sixths, and that's what would give you the 4 thirds. On the others, you'd split them up as well, and you'd say this is x to the 9 sixths times x to the 8 sixths, and you would just go ahead and add the 9 and the 8 to 17. And then you'd multiply that by the y's. The y's would be 3 sixths, and then 8 sixths. And you'd add those to 11, and that would finish it out. That is one way of doing it. If, we, if I go ahead and finish this out, this is going to be, uh, and I'm just going to combine these uh, under the 6 root, and you'll see why later. But this is going to be 8 sixths. This is going to be uh, x to the 17 sixths. And then it's going to be y to the 11 sixths. So I'm just going to take the sixth out and put it under the root. So this is going to be under the sixth root, 4 to the 8th, x to the 17th, y to the 11th. And now I just pull out groups of 6. I can pull out a group of four sixes here, or I'm I'm sorry, a group of uh, one group of six fours, and so it's four to the first, and then back under the uh, under the root, it's four squared. I can pull out two x's, and then I have that goes that's twelve, so it gives me five x's left over that I can't pull out. So that goes back under the sixth root. And then I can pull out one y with five left over. That's one way of doing it. Now, I have a different way that I end up doing it, and I convert the fractions while they're still in radical form. And so what I'm going to do is, in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and find the least common multiple of 2 and 3. And when I do this, I get 6. So I'm going to multiply both of these up to 6. So since I multiply the, the, uh, the radical by 3 here, 2 times 3, I'm also going to multiply each power in here by 3. So that means 16 to the 3rd. This is x to the 9, y to the 3. And then on the back side of that, I have to multiply this by 2. And so it's going to give me 
3 times 2, everything under here gets multiplied by 2 as well, so it's 4 squared. And then this is x to the 8, y to the 8. Now I have a common index, so I can combine them under the 6 root, and I have, this by the way is 16. 16 times 16 cubed is 16 to the 4th. 8 to the, or x to the 9th, x to the 8th is x to the 17th. y to the 3rd, y to the 8th gives me y to the 11th. Again, I can't, I gotta reduce it. Now, I, 16 is 4 squared. So, what I can do is multiply the 4 and the 2 on the squared and come up with the 6th root, and this is going to be 4 to the 8th. x to the 17, y to the 11, and that's going to give me the same answer. But it just kind of does it a little quicker, a little cleaner. So this is going to give me one of the 4's, uh, it'll give me two of the x's, one of the y's, and then under the 6th root I'm going to have two 4's left over, which I can then recombine to 16 if I want. I'm going to have five x's left over, and I'm going to have five y's left over. And there's an alternative way of doing it.